It's time for another Challenge Charlie! So last week I gave you my opinion on society's current obsession with fame. Uh, this week, however, I'm going to be making balloon animals. I have no experience in making balloon animals, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Um, I bought a balloon pump, and I bought some modelling balloons, as you can see. Only the very best. First thing I'm going to try and make, apparently, the easiest thing to start off with is a dog. Look at how this guy blows up his balloons. That is impressive. <coughs> I'm going to stick to the pump. I was never any good at tying balloons. Ah. Three that are roughly the same length, and then you do that. Two more, and then you turn those into legs. Okay. Uh, his legs are a bit odd, but that's fine. And then there we go. There's a little dog. I gave him a little tail like a poodle. Next up, I'm going to do a rabbit. A small one for the head, and then two long ones for the ears. A small one for the neck, and then he said to do two flower petals. I think I saw him do that, but those don't really look like arms to me. Let's just say it's a girl rabbit now. Twist like that. Okay, I don't think I'm doing this right. It's definitely changed from a girl to a boy now. <gasps> okay, and there we go. It's... it's... <laughs> long ears, like a rabbit, and arms, or something else. And those are its legs. There we go, a rabbit. Now we're going to make a black cat. I thought it was black. Apparently it's green. Okay, so we start with two little ones which make the cat's nuzzle. And then it's two more little ones and then five more. I don't have enough hands for this. Okay, and there we go. There's our cat. That looks like a cat. Well, it looks more like a bear, but it looks a bit like a cat. Look, it's got a little nose and everything. Ah! And there we go. It's a cat, kind of. It is a cat, isn't it? I'm pretty pleased with that. Next, I'm going to try and make a heart, um, because I love you. Yeah, it looks more like a kidney bean than a heart. There we go, that's better. Oh. Next up, I'm going to make a sword in pretty pink. Apparently, swords are really easy. You just fold them like that and then twist it in the middle. And then that's it. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to do a pig. To make the snout, you have to push this in like this, that, and then twist it and then you get a little piggy snout. Then I have to make a head like the one I made with the cat. And there you have it, there's your little pig flower. I've given him ears, but his head is kind of malformed. I've given him little pig trotters. This is so hard. <laughs> ah! That is not the tail of a pig. That is the tail of a squirrel. Just so it's completely clear. Next I'm going to do a motorcycle, which uses two balloons. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for a motorcycle yet. And there we go! It's a tree! Tell you what, I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna make a yellow mouse. Okay, that's the snout. And those are the ears that give it a head. And now it has legs, but its head is facing the wrong way. And there are the back legs. I kinda want the whole town to look like that. I don't know, does that look better? No, that doesn't look better at all. So there we go, today I have made a dog, I have made a rabbit, I have made a cat, I have made a pig, I have made a sword, I made a tree, I made a mouse, and I made a heart. And now I'm going to do what any loving parent would do to their kids, I'm going to destroy them with a pair of scissors. Goodbye pig! Ow! It looks like the dog has already turned into a dragonfly. Goodbye dragonfly! Sword fight! Goodbye, little mouse. Oh, come on. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool.